So we're going to go ahead and start now on our first wine. We have a 2010 Sauvignon Blanc from Clay House, and we've already poured it into our glasses here, and we're just going to go ahead and let winemaker Blake explain it to us. All right. This is um, Sauvignon Blanc. It's 100% uh, Sauvignon Blanc. There's actually a little bit of Sauvignon Musquet uh, in this blend. Huh. Um, and it's not very typical to have Sauvignon Blanc from Paso Robles. We're one of the few producers of it. This is why I think this wine is really special. Um, it's 100% stainless steel fermented. We do two different ferments. One's very cool with the Sauvignon Musquet, and the, I really want to preserve the aromatics, um, mm -hmm. the Sauvignon Musquet. And then the other ferment I do a little bit warmer in stainless steel also, um, but it adds a little bit more richness and mouthfeel to the wine. All right, this is delicious. So. The, um just to clarify for some of our viewers that might not be so educated in wine, um, the Sauvignon Musquet, that's a little more aromatic variety. Yeah, it's, um, it is a mutation of Sauvignon Blanc um, that actually gives it a, a, a Muscat-like flavor. Mm. So, for example, um, Musquet is a French word, and, and it's uh, Gewürztraminer, for example, is a, is a Musquet mutation of Traminer. Okay. Um, Gewürz is obviously German, not, not French, but um, that's an example of, of, of a mutation that happens um, naturally in the field. So at some point in time, somebody had a mutation in their vineyard, they noticed that this particular vine um, expressed some different qualities or different flavors, and that vine was propagated. All oh, right, wonderful mistakes like potato chips, right? Exactly. <laughs> Things well, this we appreciate. This happened a long time ago. Oh, yes. yeah, fantastic. This is wonderful wine. And so, um, Chef here has paired this with a little smoked salmon crostini, and I'll just go ahead and let Chef explain that a bit more. Yeah, we just took, uh, we used uh, some local bread that we sourced, mm -hmm. uh, and just did a traditional crostini, uh, just a nice little extra virgin olive oil spray on it, toasted it off. Uh, used a uh, Santa Barbara smoked salmon company mm -hmm. uh, down just a couple hours south of here. Uh, did a little uh, saffron aioli and went ahead and, and did just a little bit of tobacco caviar to finish off with a little bit of salt mm. to help with the city of the wine. So hopefully uh, they pair very nicely. Oh, that's delicious. They pair wonderfully, actually. Yeah. yeah, and the caviar, what a nice touch. And the contrasting colors as well. You have the pink salmon and then the little white aioli with the green caviar. It's just visually very exciting. Mm. 